find a proper home for the baby. Okay. Yeah. The baby. Save the baby. <laughs> Save Which the is baby. Much better That's than saving the cat. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say uh, the overall story is about the Russian mafia in London. Okay. We're bringing down the mob boss. Possibly. Awesome, I mean, yeah. All right. So, well, I, I mean, there's there's sort of dual goal, dual goals here that are related. So yeah. it's like yeah. you know who's, which one's the protagonist. I look at the I, I look right at of the movie. You know, it's what always mm-hmm. tells me what I'm, what the overall story. Well, you also have to remember. I mean, the thing is, is that you've got thematically. Well, who's our main character? Let's identify these <laughs> characters. Yeah. I think so. Too. Okay, so that she's the one whose shoes we're supposed to be in. She's the one who is on the outside of all this Russian mafia stuff, just like us. And so she's discovering at the same time we are. Yeah. That's the clue that she's the one whose shoes we're supposed to stand in. And the movie obviously is is structured to make us invest in her emotionally before we even meet the other. Before we even meet the Olympics. Right. Um, and the influence character? Ego. Well, Nikolai. 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 I brought it along. Okay, good. Is that IMDb? No, it's actually uh, Wikipedia. No. Okay, and what is the nature of their, oh, their relationship? Protection, kind of. It's like they're both trying to protect is kind of what I came up with. Right. They certainly have similar interests in that area, absolutely. Um, protecting the baby? The baby. Uh, not always. No, yeah. She's definitely about the baby, I guess. That's her through line. And he's protecting his identity. Well, um, yeah, the that's, probably, that's something that's unique to him. That's not in their relationship. Oh, you're talking they about, really you're pretty talking much about the have, overall story. Yeah, yeah. they no, 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 no. In, their, in their relationship, they are they're two people that are joined by the baby, right? Yeah. If the baby didn't happen, they wouldn't have have really they done anything. Into each other. He's yeah. the one who always is the interface with her to deal with the the, the you know the baby as well as uh, the. Uh, Diary. The diary is the overall story. The baby's connected to the overall story too, but they're protective, you know, protective over this baby. And of course, at the end, you know, they're saving the baby together, and he gives her the information she needs for the baby. So that, I mean, I think that's where the baby is. Is in that relationship. It's a lead-in from sort of sideways into the overall story, which is really about bringing down the mob or controlling the mob or stopping the mob or whichever, you know, bringing down the boss. It seems to be much more about bringing down the boss in this episode with a bigger story about controlling the mob. Infiltrating. Infiltrating. He's already been, he's already infiltrated it. So it's, it's much more than that. He's trying to disrupt it. You know, he's trying to get... he doesn't really infiltrate it until he gets to start. Yeah, what do you mean he's the chauffeur? He's a chauffeur. He sees everything. He's the he's also, you know, the the muscle. In the yeah. undertaking. Yeah, yeah, I mean so he he's in there. He's just yeah, not I, part of the family. I would add that as a complex character, he's a combination of emotion and contagonist. Nicolai? Um No. Well it depends on who the who you uh, view the, the where you see the goal and who you think the protagonist might be. Because if it's about bringing down the the mafia, he'd be more in the um, protagonist arena. I granted, it's kind of, they're not archetypes. They'd probably be, you know, right, right. I, and I apologize. I made a mistake. Contagonist and guardian, not emotion. Sorry, but the gar- a, a guardian. He certainly does have guardian elements. That's no, no question of that. Um, At least the help part of it. Right. Um, but he's, he's very, 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 very reason, very logic and control, you know, logical and control. That that's his, or at least control. He's extremely controlled in this. Movie. I mean, the emotion character is the is the son. Well, the uncontrolled. At yeah, least. uncontrolled. Yeah, but also he's he's very emotional. I guess so. You know. Yeah. Well, I attribute some of that, the feeling element to Anna. Yeah. I think. 
In this well, movie. remember that as a main character, she has the whole set. So okay, yeah. When you're looking at the Russian mafia, she's not really the feeling part so much. Okay. Yeah, I, and I think she, I, yeah, I kind of see the the two the Anna and Nikolai's kind of co-protagonists, but um, okay. I, I, yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Could this be an example of her being the main character, but the impact character is the protagonist? Yes, it could be. <laughs> She's definitely, I think she's definitely not the protagonist. Yeah. She is a, a peripheral character into this, who stepped into this, mm -hmm. this big mess, mm -hmm. and whose only really interest is connected peripherally because of the baby, but um, gets so drawn kind of in. She's a conscience character. Right, and gets, yeah. but get, yes, exactly, but gets drawn in because she's uh, uh of Russian descent, and if she has her family, uh, you know, are Russian, or her, you know, her uncle speaks, reads Russian, um, and so she, that was sort of kind of what allows her to get in there where other people would be, you know, completely kept out of the, out of the loop. So it's interesting, because that part of her is what allows her to, to, to move in this world without just immediately getting uh, pushed away or you know, slotted down. <laughs> yes, Carl. Well, I, I was just thinking. Uh, it, I guess I guess you're right because he he knows uh, uh, or whatever. Simeon? Simeon. 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 Yeah, he knows right away that she's Russian, of Russian descent, even though she could be any Londoner. There, she's got the accent, you know, there's something, but she, when he asks her what her name is. Right, then he knows then her, her name is constructed based on right. her heritage, yeah. Right. But, you know, there, I mean, he, he, he notices her, I mean, there's just, there's just the, the chemistry, right, when he spots her. So he, I don't know, you know, there, he, there is. man? No, Nikolai. Nikolai, oh, Nikolai right. Oh, I'm sorry, you're talking about Oh, I was talking about, about Simeon. 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 Oh, okay. I mean, in other words, why does he let her in the door? Well, he does, but and she puts her, she pushes her way in, right? And you know, it's what she has. He's yeah. he's in he's playing his. Oh, I'm just a restaurateur, restaurateur yeah. to this foreigner because I can't be my real self in front of a stranger until he finds out more about what's going on, and then he realizes, oh, I need to keep this one really close because there's some. Dangerous information floating around out here that she happens to have, and she doesn't know what she's got. And as long as she doesn't know, you know that's fine. But where do you live? Right. <laughs> but he, but he wants to make sure that he knows that stuff. Okay. okay. So the relationship then is is sort of a. They both have similar interests, but what what is it? It's not romantic. But it's starting. I mean, it's. As close as his, uh, I think it's as I agree. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I think it's as close as Vigo's type Nikolai. of. She's nice people. Uh, Nikolai. Yeah, she's nice people. That's and what he And he's he's being really nice to her because he knows that she's an innocent and has no clue how dangerous the world she stepped into. Mm -hmm. And since he's an undercover undercover agent, it's as close as an undercover agent can get to doing something. Right, right. So he's trying to keep, without blowing his cover, he's trying to cover for her. Keep all the collateral damage as low as possible. <laughs> right, exactly. Right. So sort of uh, almost like a protector, you know, but it's kind of a very, it's kind of a complicated relationship because it's not... Well, he, he, he serves as the protector or some elements of the guardian archetype when he sends um, the midwife's father to the five-star hotel because he was ordered to kill him. Right, the uncle, right. Now, he's, he's definitely, he's, he plays within the normal set of rules as opposed to the ones in which the uh, mafia seems to run. So, he's it says at the end says more than that. Well, yeah. right, right. I think. Okay. Well, then we can say we can say romantic, but I think it's I think it's I think it's as close as yeah. I guess okay. in this uh, 
He's also protecting uh, uh, he's also protecting the French Center. For real. For real. He's also, he's also protecting in that relationship that's been maybe to qualify as singularly for the relationship. I don't know how to spell it. Is. That's correct. Simeon is pretty close. S E M Y O N. S E M Y O N. And they have symbolically as a the guardian relationship with her with the motorcycle thing throughout the movie. Right. Well, he's he's publicly a help character. Privately, he's trying to you know drive them. You know, trying to break them up, but not break them up and to crush it, but to get rid of, to insinuate himself and to, to replace the the current head. I mean, he you know he explicitly says when she asks why are you helping me, that's well you can't I can't king. become the king if the king is already is still alive. You know, <laughs> something that he told that Samuel told him. Right. Okay, so let's uh, let's talk about some of these. Uh, Dynamic questions, yes. So, is the whole story about the baby or about how we create if it's about the baby or if it's about being down the mountain? I, th I think that the baby is, the baby represents the opportunity to bring, bring down the mafia boss. That's the, it, that is the, that is the um, inequity that has been introduced into the mob boss's world. And there are forces trying to bring down the mob, mob boss. Um, and so it depends on how we want to frame it. I mean, it really. I yeah, but I, I don't know if everybody's trying to bring down the mob boss. So, so. Well, all of the London police and and Vigo are. are mm -hmm. uh, how about how about just they know they can't bring it down. It's too big, but they can control it. If he's if Vigo gets in, I'm sorry, Nikolai gets in there uh, to, he can control it. Depends. Right. Right. If Vigo gets in there, he can control it. Well, uh, no, but that, you see, I don't think they're even expecting him to get that high. Yeah. You know, this whole, the, the whole reason he gets this wild opportunity is because they're going to off him. And they're going to, you know, Simeon's going to pass him off as his son, who is going to get killed by these other guys. By the Chechens. By the Chechens, right. For for some, you know, for what he did. So it's just this wild opportunity that happens, and of course, because he's so kick-ass, he, you know, manages to survive that, and knowing that the baby is, is connected and such gives the, the police exactly what they need to take down Simeon. Remember that the, the, the British police are working with the Russian police to try to bring down this mafia. So this is huge efforts, you know, trying to do this. It's all behind the scenes that's represented effectively by um, Nikolai and his contact that we see but once or twice. Well, that's kind of my, my argument against him being on the inside when he's still just a chauffeur. Because when he says, do you want to wear, and he pulls his, his gallon part, and he says, do you want to waste these stars? Right. So, I mean, that's being on the inside. And you also see a scene where Carol uh, says, you know, I know what the inside stuff is. You don't. Right. I was born okay. into this. Okay. I, I mean, was born with stars on my chest. Let part me clarify what I meant by what, that, what I said. I didn't mean he was part of the leadership. I meant he was part of the mob, okay. and being the chauffeur and the hatchet man, literally, for the mob, he was part of the mob. But he wasn't a made man. No, he wasn't a made man, right. But he was still in there, as opposed to everybody else who's on the outside that's not even related. You have the family, then you have you know the workers, and he's one of the workers, and then you have the made man and the boss. Well, you have, and you have the barber, but uh, he he didn't have the stars. No, 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 no. He's somebody probably from the old country who's part of the group who did a bunch of stuff on his own, 
and shouldn't have, kind of like, you know, in The Godfather, you've got these peripheral families that are doing stuff that if they're in his territory, they're supposed to. Wasn't it Turkish also? I mean, when I, when I put on the subtitle, it said, you know, in Turkish. Oh, yeah, very mm-hmm. possibly. I don't know. Yeah. Yes. But the point is that he knows who he's, he knows who he's supposed to be kowtowing to. Right. And he was doing some stuff on his own, but in the, the Russian Mafia territory, and that's why it came back. So, and they were able to use that, you know. You know, Simeon saw that as an opportunity to get rid of, to to save his son, not to get rid of of uh, Nikolai, because he really thought that you know if he had a choice, he'd get rid of his son and elevate Nikolai. But you can't do that. You can't, you know, you can't give up blood. So, all right. So then, to answer, to go back to your question, and I think this is a. This will be something we need to sort of decide as a group how we want to do that, and we might want to do that by looking at the outcome and judgment. Um, do we see this as a mafia boss who sees, uh, finds out that there's a potential, uh, that the baby is this potential, you know, Death Star plan that could destroy his entire. Empire, Empire. <laughs> um, and are we looking at it from his perspective of trying to clean up the mess or prevent it from happening, or are we looking? At, are we? Do you think the author was trying to have us stand in the side of the people who are trying to overthrow it, but bring us into it from a completely? Or from a person's point of view who's completely outside of it, who slowly gets sort of the onion revealed, and only after the fact can we figure out, oh, that's what's really going on. You know, when I see a movie, and it kind of goes back to what Hitchcock says, nobody cares what the the, the machinations are. It's, you know, what, what the story... To me, it's very difficult to follow every aspect of that mob story and, and, and the relationships and who's doing what to whom and what have you. Well, the, the, simple, answer, the simple question is, is it a success or a failure story? And that'll tell you I, everything. I think it feels like a success. Yeah, I, well, it's clearly good, right? I mean, she's well, she's good. definitely good. He's <laughs> definitely bad. Yeah, but, I, but, but, but <laughs> I know, I know. he doesn't fit into it. No, so, no. But, but the problem is, is it feels... Uh, it doesn't feel like a triumph. It feels like. But I think, I think, the influence character, could where be. the influence character is at the end, they, they pretty much end on him. But I thought if they, you were asking if if he's the protagonist or if he's the antagonist, is what you're asking. Right. I guess so. Yeah. So I don't. He doesn't thing. seem to be the antagonist. I don't think. But well, if if, if the seems, if Simeon is pursuing a course of action, he's the antagonist. Then he's the antagonist. Right. But is it a success or failure story? Just well, it depends on who's the. No, if you just <laughs> if I asked you, does this seem like a success or a failure story? Success. Yeah, success. It, 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 success. It, I say success. Plus, and what's about bringing him down? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. If it's a, if it's about the ba- saving the baby, it's also success, and yeah. they basically are tied together because the baby is the key to his downfall. Right. right? So right. that's why the saving of the baby. And bringing him down are really pretty much two parts of the same puzzle. Could it be that if, if we uh, consider Anna as the uh, uh-huh. uh could it be if oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yeah, uh, yeah, that doesn't yeah, that doesn't sound good. So I was gonna, I was gonna say. Trying to see if I can twist it around. Uh, well, she's really not the protagonist. Yeah, no. I mean, because I just, just say, yeah, okay, what's she pursuing? Because it's, she's not even interested in having the baby until like the last act. Well, the, she's before well, that. She's sort of first. She wants to find out. You know, let's let's find out who the parents were. Let's find out who the girl was. Let's find out who the parents are. Let's see if we can send her back. And then it's like. Well, I think I'll just take care of it myself. 
I mean, those are the those are the four acts. But don't you think that's foreshadowed? Like when her mother asks, you know, she says Christina, and her mother's like, "Who's Christina?" And she's like, "Oh, that's the name I gave yeah. her." And her mother kind of. Of looks course, it's foreshadowed. Yeah. No, they, you they, don't think she has decided by that? No, no, and, but she and she the first act. she sees the baby as a human being, not as a baby. Isn't this is because she's she's delving into this. Mother's life. Is there another thing? Because I, I don't remember that in this part, but I, is there like something? Like, I, I know she doesn't want to be with the foster home. Right. Is there, is there something like that she mentions that like you have to identify the, the father first and basically, like if the father isn't. No, no, because uh, they don't. There's no way they would know the father because it, unless it's not in the. Or. or it, it's what it, 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 yeah, eventually. But, it's discovered who the father is, but that's after she already realized that. Because it doesn't bad. Like, is this, isn't that like? Could that be like almost like a requirement that like like when, once once they, they identify the same and he's going to go to jail, so he's going to be a, an eligible father, really? Uh, like oh, she, I, she will she'll get the kid automatically. She, she can pretend. She can she can like. like no, she knows what will kid. happen to the baby because there's because Kirill. Is killing the baby to protect the father, right. his father. So giving the baby to its father is not an option. I know, because <laughs> that's she's trying to save the baby. She's not trying to just <clears throat> find find the you know. The, yeah, I'm just saying, if her if her goal was just to avoid the baby the father. Um, what goal was that? Well, it, it, that wouldn't be the overall story goal. If it is, it might be her concern, but it's not the overall story concern. Not, I mean, not everybody's concerned with that, with what sh she's doing, what she's involved in. Only insofar as it threatens the, the, the family. Right, but the goal, hey, the goal of getting the baby into a proper home turns out to be more, yeah, more of a main character concern and not the overall, it feels like the overall story concern at first. Right, but it's, then, it's, yeah. but then it's the like a MacGuffin, except it yeah. actually had, it's important. You know, it does, it's not just a throwaway, it's actually a, 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 a what appears to be unimportant to begin with because you don't know who the mother is, don't know, mm -hmm. you know the parentage and all this stuff. As that becomes more revealed, you realize how key that is to this effort to, to infiltrate and bring down the mafia. And in fact, it's kind of like getting, you know, getting somebody, getting, what's his name, on uh, tax evasion, you know. The point is, oh. you take them out, right, Capone, you take them out. It doesn't matter how you take them out, it's you take them out. And mm -hmm. this is a legitimate one that's easy, easily proved. You get some blood, you know, DNA test, oops, you know. Yes. You can bring down the Russian mafia without saving the baby, but you can't save the baby without at least infiltrating the Russian mafia. Getting the baby from well, sure, the baby could be dead and the blood is still the same. It's still a th Once the baby existed, it was a problem for, for um, the son man. Mm -hmm. Once knowledge of the baby and its parentage, and the, you know, that's, what, that's the problem. The baby itself is just sort of the proof or the, you know, the, the witness, but it doesn't have to be alive. It has to be around long enough for them to do the task. Right. And after that, it, it's, it really is not important for that purpose. And it's a nice device to hold it together so that at the end, remember, they, they, don't, they don't plan on him, uh, on uh, Nikolai, staying in the family, and especially running the damn thing. That's like, they have no plans on that. There were no expectations for that, but he does. That's something that he wants to do. So when we look at what where the you know where Nikolai's through line is, you'll see those aspirations are going to be part of him, not necessarily part of that bigger plan. Of course, it's just so nice for him that one is necessary for the other. <laughs> that that was that was the point of confusion. The the very last shot uh, is. Okay, so if he's the boss now, is that because he's still being an undercover agent, or is yeah. that out of some personal yeah. ambition? It's, on his it's yes, it's both. Okay, and right. the question is, if you have the sequel, yeah. is 
Okay, so how long is it going to do both jobs? Did anybody <laughs> see the sequel? Is there a sequel? Yeah. Really? I think there is. Well, there was. There's supposed to. There was supposed to be. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. That would be very cool, but I never heard. No, but it, I, I, but I it sets wondered. up a perfect. You have a character who's got, you know, two masters right at the end. It's and kind of like Godfather one and two. You know, well, that's what they call it. Easter uh, Promises two. Yeah. Oh no, I haven't seen it. Okay. Probably not done by David Cronenberg. Probably not. <laughs> you wonder if that screenwriter is involved in the. Okay, oh, so well, we we, we said it was a success story. So the long answer to your question is it's about bringing down the. About well, by bringing down <laughs> Sonia. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The 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 Godfather of this particular. Um, mob family. You're not happy. No, but we'll get to it later. Okay, why not? No, I mean, we're no, because it'll. It's later. We'll do it. I think there's something wrong. Okay. I got a question. Yeah. Is this? Um, you, you said that uh, Simeon is the antagonist. Could this be an example that the mob is the antagonist and he's more of a antagonist? Because when we first meet him, let's like, let's define where where things are before we okay. start really trying to do the archetype of characters. Only because how you sort of place those doesn't have any structural uh, connection. You know, it's really storytelling. Yeah. So it structurally speaking doesn't make a difference if he's the protagonist or antagonist, except insofar as what the goal is and, and whether or not it's success or failure. Mm -hmm. So um, then that's and, and it might be. You know, we obviously have uh, Jim thinking of something called thinks it's a failure. No, oh, well, I, I could go either way, but okay. I don't know if it's necessarily about bringing down the mob boss because I don't think when the story starts that that's the actual goal. No, I don't think. So. I I think it's always the goal. I just don't think we're aware of the goal. In other words, we are we're we're seeing this story from the main character who has no awareness at, at all of this world. They walk in not as a protagonist, but just as a I, I am a, I am an audience member stepping into this world I know nothing about, and rather than showing it like they did in Godfather, where they basically spent a long time, long first act setting up, here's how this world works. They didn't want to do that. They wanted to sort of you, you to come in as a normal person, and realize things are kind of a little strange, and the, and the relationships are not expected and there's a structure going on and there's a whole hierarchy and things are doing really bad. I mean, pretty quickly you find out how violent it is, but you don't see what is connected to babies. You know, so I think it's one of those things where by the end you can finally figure out what the heck is going on. Not that you can, and I think it specifically doesn't want us to be paying attention to what the big picture is that that's part of the mystery. Because why the importance of the baby isn't truly recognized until the last act, or at least by us as the audience. You know, um, Nikolai understands it uh, really quickly once he's looking through that that uh, the diary. The diary, he knows exactly what ha what happened, and he he knows that this is something that can be used. Although he doesn't want to use it because he's trying to further his own personal <laughs> goals. So, like, when he's in a position, then it's okay to sort of lay out that card. But he, you know, he could easily have told the, the police that before. Although, you know, he doesn't communicate with them very often. <laughs> right. Well, Only through dead bodies. If that's what you want to do with the overall story, I wonder if that changes your main and no, because mm -hmm. the main characters who we're sit, whose shoes we're standing in, we're definitely standing in her shoes. We do not, we do not, and I mean exactly the point. We don't see yeah. what's going on in the big picture. We have no clue. Did you, did you know that no. that was Nikolai was had those plans or any of that until very very far into it? No. If he was a main character, we would probably want to know those things. And you know, she's the main character. She's the one who has the family surrounding her so that we can figure out what she's all about. You know, they tell us about her. <laughs> you know, that it's unusual. She names the child. Well, why did you do that? You know, so we see her environment and the things that she reflects against 
it tells us where she sees herself in that world. Okay, so, um, shall we try and make character resolve? We'll try. <laughs> <laughs> shall we, we're shall we leave, you came in. Shall we leave that one? Let's let's skip that one. Let's I think that's it. an easy one, don't you? That, yeah, no. I, I find it super See, this is the thing that I love about this movie. The more we talk about it, is that I think. Can I say that I, I think? Yes, you Nikolai, can say that. No. <laughs> I think Keep it Nikolai, to yourself. Where, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, I think he's the change character, but I think it's it's more like it, it's his, our perception of him changes throughout the film instead of him really changing. I think he's the same as far as what his goals are and everything. Uh, uh, that he's it, that his goals are steadfast from beginning to end, but to us, we see all these things we didn't know about him. So he kind of changes in our eyes as far as we realize. Oh, shit. Well, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be changed. Yeah, right. that would not be changed. Okay. That would be just our understanding, and you want that. I mean, that's what makes stories really interesting is your understanding of the reality. As as that changes, it gives that extra dimension of interest, unless it's too confusing. In which part you go, what the hell is this? Oh, I can't figure this out. Could could his change be? Situation change, you know. I, I've never thought that before, but I mean, I, I always thought change was internal, but well, it's yes, kind but of an external. If that, if that happens, that's generally referred to as steadfast, because what yeah. you're doing is you're waiting for the world to change around you. Yeah, that's the nature of a, a steadfast character is to is to hold out for something to happen, either whether you know weather it out or you know waiting for it to change, hopefully, in your favor. Um, okay, well, if you, okay, so if she's a change character, then how do we see her? she's changed? Well, you, you said it yourself, where you see, starts uh, out, where she starts out just, you know, trying to find out who, who uh, the baby should be given to, and then as, as she progresses, she becomes uh, she she takes on a maternal instinct and, and she begins to see herself as the mother of this child. That's and true. Old mama at the end of the movie. Right. right. And she, yeah. Yeah. I, well, I never thought that until just now. Yeah, she's kind of antagonistic against her own family, and by the end, she's all about family. You know, now right. she's got her family. But now, the, and the reason that what happens is is that it's not a leap of faith change. So there's not a there's not a moment where she has to, you know, make this decision. It's sort of a very gradual transformation over time. She appreciates so, her uncle more. Because you know, at the beginning of it, if somebody walked up to her and said, "Here, we have this baby. Do you want it?" to be like, "What? Are you kidding me?" Do you think that? For her? I'm not sure if I agree with that. Well, I think her whole perspective all along was she wanted this child. Yeah. Well, she wanted to find that she she felt a connection or a responsibility to this. Feel like it's her steadfastness that forces him to become even more ambitious than he was in the very beginning. Right, mm -hmm. which is which would be the one thing that well, would be the change. I mean, and I'm not talking like the perception thing. It was like, oh yeah, that's a flip. But he really, you know, in the beginning, he's just on the periphery, sort of being there. That's why I still don't think he's trying to take down the mob boss. He's trying to find a way to. Well, he's fight like the, he's supposed to he's supposed to be he's supposed to infiltrate it. Right, his bosses want to take down or do exactly under, to right. understand but, what's going on. So. But his, I don't think. I think he's just kind of on the periphery. You need to go away. This isn't your, you know, get out of here, get out of here. And she keeps coming and she keeps popping up. Like she shows up on the doorstep. It's like any normal sane person would not do that. And he's like, what the hell are you still doing here? And then that drives him to a place where he's able to become the king that that and, and motivate and them. become the kind of head of the family that she she obviously was. Throughout the whole thing, it's like her I, I think that's a better interpretation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I, I think that's also one of the reasons why when you see him at the end, mm -hmm. because he's the change character, we automatically assume that it, you know he's going to be the main character. Totally. Yeah. Definitely. And why they have that shot there so that we see that he's changed, but now he's not in a good place. Mm -hmm. So yeah. now he's he's changed, but now he's got the dual allegiances and they're warring. You know. How Well, she's very dogged. She's very headstrong. She's she very just will not persistent. stop. Persistent, and she wants she wants to make sure this baby is safe, no matter what, no and matter who 
who's taking care of it, she wants to make sure that the baby is safe. And she forces his cards in a way that she's yeah. motivating. I mean, I remember him. when he when he goes to rescue the baby, that puts him at odds with the family. You know, mm -hmm. and it's because he's basically going against. He's like almost exposing himself, yeah. in a way right? That he would yeah. never would have in the beginning. But fortunately, yeah. you know, the son is uh, is sort of so disturbed at that, emotionally disturbed at that point. He doesn't really see it for what it is. Right. Yeah. Well, my, my curiosity is is that um, seen early in the movie, and still when we're establishing the main character, we see her with her family and her her uncle uh, makes these racist comments and, and and basically you know exposits about her backstory. You know, I guess she had a miscarriage or something, or or she had a miscarriage, lost, and the lost a baby, and her boyfriend walked her. Yeah. yeah, and uh, uh, and so it, 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 it's it's kind of curious. You know why they chose to. You know, what was well, the point of having that in the story? Well, because um, because this is a baby that doesn't require carrying it to term or or a boyfriend. <laughs> so it's kind of a a, a made present for her. Okay. Here's this opportunity that she doesn't have to run through the problems that she had in her past. Okay. Mm. I it's, mean, what they did, they, they put this point and this point. You, have to, the, you know, there's a couple of dots in between that they did not bring. I mean, right. they didn't strongly emphasize it. They just sort of brought that up. And then you see her being a mother at the end, and, and you have to kind of fill in the rest. But uh, but that's but, that's why that, that would be certainly the attraction, because she clearly wants child children or wanted it. She has motherly instincts. Right. right. And, and her... Relationships apparently weren't going very well, which you kind of start, at least need to have a donor <laughs> <laughs> under most circumstances, except when they, you know. I, I was just going to say that this kind of emphasizes with Dramatica that there's no right or wrong usually. It's just stronger choices. And this, yes, this is, absolutely. Oh, this it's is much the stronger you're talking choice. about interpreting somebody else's work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, they're big, big question marks, and, and I think what you want to do is you want to try to answer the questions as best you can, but then you look to other ones to see whether or not they support it or they're contrary to it. And that's where you get the validation, is not in the story part you're answering, but all the things that either seem to support that decision or to be kept run counter to that. Okay, so, temp so right now we're going to say then she's a main steadfast character. I'm leaning toward yeah. her being steadfast and him being changed. Okay. That, that was my okay. leaning, but I again, I, I can be talked out. <laughs> well, the nice thing is, is that you can try all sorts of different ways. Right. You know, you can go I'll, I'll put it to sort of, you know, a dotted underline yeah. under steadfast, meaning we 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 are inclined <laughs> to think she's more of a steadfast character Should than a dashes. dashes. Huh? Shouldn't be dashes. Not Whatever. <laughs> it's I, I use a wavy line. I use a wavy line. First, that no. circle. I think it should I, be I a different know. color. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks. Guys. <laughs> so let's talk about the main character approach: Dur or beer? Dur. Yes. Do we have any yeah. argument on this? I think you get some illustrations. Well, well, no. I, I, I think the biggest evidence is he, he's. He's well, he such, a beer. He's right. such he's a right. huge, yeah. strong, she, and incredible. She goes to the door. She rings the doorbell. Mm -hmm. She, she, uh, she tells him. Uh, she she will go there. She will uh, try to get the, the diary translated. Well, here's a here's a, a more personal note. Oh, then that's right. She's out right, there, right? right. But yeah. but here's a more personal note. She her bike's not working. She sits there trying. Eh, eh, wow. Yeah. He comes in. He does it. It's like oh, it's not working. So she goes. Ow, ow, ow. So it's just <laughs> like she she has to do it. To, you know. And I go all right. It's not working. And what is his argument? You know, I'll. I will be in real trouble if if he finds out that I left you, a guest left you out here, and so um, let me do my job. And it's like okay, I can't argue with that, you know. So it, it was one of those. It was really interesting that even after he did it, she still had to do it, you know. And so yeah, I, I definitely think she's a doer. Really nicely strong doer. And at the end of the movie, <coughs> she's basically now a mom, and she's a beer for her, for the baby. <laughs> The last shot. She's kind of well, like she's still doing them all well. No, but it's more it's it's the motherly thing. We don't know what how that plays out in her real life, but just in the movie, we the, we don't see her doing anything. We see her there with the, her child. The duo beer that, that, that it's related to to the to the MC and life, right? Officially, with the MC, 
unofficially through the with right. the IC. Yes. Yeah. It I generally mean, it's follows MC, that it's way. MC, so it's, it's officially with the MC, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it generally follows that the other one's going to be that the IC is going to be the other one. Um, all right. <coughs> so, so we have, have the overall door, a nice strong line. How's that? Thank you. Okay. Thank I didn't you. circle it though. Uh, <laughs> main character problem solving style linear you're not gonna, you're seriously not going to circle it? <laughs> I don't know really circle it, I underline it. Oh, okay. No. Oh, I'm <laughs> really, really a thousand wow. percent sure. I can't believe we're having this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Fun we need some women in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Far too much testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> main character problem solving style, linear or holistic and why? She wants the diary interpreted. She goes straight to danger. Yeah. <laughs> she just, well, she finds it. Well, well okay. She, she finds the card in the diary. Let me go check out this restaurant. You yeah. know, and that's right. when she, you know. Uh, I, I'll yeah. go to you, and I figured I could she find out where she's from. My uncle is reluctant to translate, so I'll to go see. to somebody else. To right. translate. Sherlock, the and she doesn't even think. About the, danger. The, the no, not danger, but the relationships that she's stepping yeah. all over. Yeah. Whereas that she's walking in and she's just clueless to any kind of upset of ba balances around her, and she's con she's making some really huge waves and is completely ignorant of it. Is that, is that and he like, keeps on running like you know tackle for her because all the bad things come around her, and he's like, okay, oh, does that yes. imply that he's always? Yes. Okay. Is that what I was just saying? It does imply yes, and, and I think it's a, it's pretty yeah. accurate. Yeah. Um. So. Oh. Excellent. All right. Story driver, action or decision? Well, the inciting incident seems to be, well, there's two inciting incidents. Okay. One, the murder of the guy in the barbershop, shop, and two, uh, the girl coming to the market and collapsing and then and ha dying and having the baby. That's, okay. That I would say is the inciting. Event. Okay. Yeah. Um, because that didn't happen. Right. No baby. No story. Right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I, I tend to. Well, agree. okay. I mean, I mean, see, it could have gone without it, but you wouldn't have had the main character. Right. That's the whole thing. The inciting event tends to bring the four through lines together. But the uh, but the resolving incident seems to be. Oh, it's more implicit, but right, saving, it's the, saving the baby for the evidence that the right baby represents. Well, the, the, the closing event is off screen. Yeah, they they yeah. take down That's the semis, nice. and, uh, they like sure. and and they um, the the son gets taken out. We don't know how. Do so you know why though? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, he's gay. Well. <laughs> That's that's the thing that was unacceptable but, in that environment. He, yeah, but he's also a half wit you know, drunk, so he was right, right. So he he to, doesn't he's an, he's not able to you yeah. know act appropriately. But the problem is, is that's out there. That's the thing that they're you know that's going around, and that's what will ultimately bring him down. That's why he's unfit for being leading the family. Whether he's actually taken out or it, you, he probably is, but he's, he certainly is not one to, to take over because he's just unfit for that. Right. But that, that that closing event we don't see, mm -hmm. but that you know that had to happen because we see the result of it. Mm -hmm. He's not around at the end. No, we see we see uh, Nikolai, uh, Nikolai see the running, king. King. running the king. Yeah, he's yeah. the king exactly. And, 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 and not feeling <laughs> particularly good because you know you have you can. Interpret why he's kind of sullen in that scene. I mean, you, you fill, you have to fill in the space. Well, he's given up, he's given up everything else to other Russia. Well, not only that, but you know, probably people have probably died, you know, uh, and you know, there are things weighing on his conscience. So, well, he, he, well, but the thing is, if he's truly changed, the question is, is he truly the badass now? Has he become the king, or is he just a, a pretender? And the implication is, is that. It's very possible that he's king, and that's the thing that's boring. You know, he feels like I I have ascended to the throne on my own merits. I deserve to be here, but this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be a good guy, right? right. And now exactly. I'm, I'm again. 
Right. So I think that that's why they that's why they they put it in there so that you know you knew where the sequel would be. You, you saw the inequity was left hanging for him for, for the movie. I mean, he's now the king, so it's what's going to happen now that you have him running the show. You know, are things going to get better or not? It's not. It's he's not in a good place. If he was in a good place, you'd know things are probably. Yeah. Good. So again, we have to read into it, but. Of course. You have to read into it. Right. That's no, 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 no. Definitely. The story judgment is in terms of the main character. The main character. Right. Now, I here's I'm gonna I'm gonna bring a little um, bit of theory. What? Oh no, I have no guess what you're gonna say. Go on. Sorry. I'm gonna bring a little bit of theory that this is I'll give you Melanie's take on this particular <laughs> question. Which is normally not my take, but um, I think may be appropriate for this. And that is, she really does see it as the story judgment. And generally the main character represents what's that feel, that whether things are resolved or not. Not in the big, not, not intellectually, but emotionally. And I think that the feel, because of that last shot, if yeah. it didn't have that last shot, mm -hmm. it would absolutely be good. With the end of, with her and the baby, it would be completely good. In which case, the story form probably is supposed to be a success, good, basically happy ending. But they threw that last shot in there, and I think it's because they wanted to not leave it with a happy ending. They wanted to mess it up. They wanted you to feel bittersweet about it. Because you really like this guy, but he's not in a good place. But I think that's a different story. Yeah, that's that true. <laughs> does that does that the set <coughs> good bad? Is that is that completely independent from the rest of the dog dragons? Or no, no, we can leave it. We can leave it. No, it no, can be selected. Was, what I was, I was going to say is, is, if you are down to two story forms, and you have two identical story, ident completely identical story. Sometimes, forms, like yeah, sometimes. Okay. And sometimes, I'll, I'll you, and I'll it depends you on what you're choosing. If you start oh, choosing uh, you unique right. abilities and. and if, or, uh, if you have relation. a female mental sex story form, the story judgment is this orphan. Nothing else connects to it. If you have a male mental sex or linear mental sex uh, story form, good and bad is connected to uh, unique ability and catalyst and things like that. Right. Okay. Female mental sex, it's because of the way the algorithm, algorithms work. A female mental sex story form Three leaves the story rest. judgment as an orphan. Right. What I call it orphan. Yeah. So, okay. um, but that's. That's right. just the, the, the machinations so, of the So let's software. let's I would suggest we leave it and see what it comes up as. I think as even as a moral judgment not, that deserves it the dog. As uh I don't I'm do the whole thing, I don't know. I'm no no I think <laughs> Oh, I see. Yeah. All right, I'll um, I'll dot all of them. It's, 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 it's going to be four. one of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> I, I think even I, I think even uh, call it you know seeing the the question as a moral judgment as opposed to a main character you know emotional outcome. Why I think even the moral judgment would be good. Right. Right. That's uh, why I because think at least Simeon is on the way and and it, out out of the way and that's a good thing. Right. And I think again the the reason they put him in there at that last shot is just. You know, this is this is David Cronenberg. He doesn't like happy endings, so he wanted to at least put a parting blow in there. <laughs> but but also, if you see good and bad as a scale, you know it's you know, all right. It's it's way over here, and then it's like oh, pull back a little bit, but it's still on the good side. Right, but the you know? but but the shot with him, with with Nikolai is a main character kind of a shot, not a not an influence character. But his kind expression of shot. is the same as it is all the way through the movie. How can you tell what he's even thinking? Well, he's put it this way: he's got everything he's wanted, and there's no one around. He's alone. It's dark, and he's just sort of an empty bottle in front. Of him. Well, yeah, and he's not looking happy. But he never looks and, happy. And, and, okay. yeah, no, he's no, got no but, expression to the whole thing. I know this is a silly thing for you, but I'm more invested in that guy than in Anna. Right. Well, because, because he's, he's because he's he's, he's, he's because he's an in, he's interesting. <laughs> He's interesting, but not not emotional. But, but he's, so, just, but he's mysterious. Right? He, it's hard. It's hard for us. Yes, we are invested in him as an interesting character, but 
we're not standing in the shoes because he's we don't know what he's up to. Yeah, right. You know, at any we moment, don't know how any not. moment, we don't know what kind of what decision. You know, he's with the prostitute. We're not surprised that he does what he does in terms of trying to get her out because he's always trying to help. But he could just as easily, you know, do nothing or do something that was unexpectedly bad. So does that does does that always follow that pattern that if a character is a shapeshifter in the story, he, he, he can't be a main character? No, of course they can. You, I mean, you can't go in high, obviously. But, but. Well, no, 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 no. You, you can have someone who is, you know, who's playing roles for different, for different things and they're a main character, that's fine. So that you're not aware of it in terms of reception? Mm, that's really difficult because it's kind of like saying you don't know yourself. Yeah. Unless you have truly an alternative personality, which is another character. Yeah. It may be the same body, but you're literally creating another character like Jekyll and Hyde. It's a different character, whether it's the same body with yeah. makeup it's or you... One right, one. right. But they're, they're psychologically different characters. Their function is different. All right, so let's talk about the domains. Well, story yeah. driver action. I, I, oh, I didn't... We never quite fit... I mean, we decided that sort of the story driver's action, right? Oh, right, yes. You know, I'm not sure what the action oh, rates op- are. Oh, but... story limit, option, longer time lock. Yes, it doesn't have a time lock. <laughs> right, let's get that out of the way. Is it a time lock? Can, or... can I ask one last thing? Yes, of course. It doesn't a... have to be the last thing. We have to play yeah. more time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, I'm thinking, I understand what you're saying about the story judgment of the last shot. I'm just thinking more in, in a general context. I'm thinking, well, every single, in every single story where where one of the character changes and it's not for the best. Uh, well, from that character's point of view, it'll feel like crap, obviously. But this is this is not it, it like just, where the main character is one and the close character is the other. This this one. Look, just I, I wasn't sure if you were going there, but it's, it's not like where you say the main character is a doer, the influence character is a doer. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. I, I, but I just meant by that that it feels like. Like what is happening basically, the fact that she's feeling good and that he's feeling pretty crappy. Hap- would that would happen in a, in 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 you know in a lot of other stories, but we would probably just say that it's a that it's a judgment of good just because of the order in which it was presented, because of or the story I, leaving. I mean the, the the other reason I would say was I mean I do think it's supposed to be good. The other yeah, thing is yeah. the last shot can also indicate success. That it does have an objective purpose. It shows that it shows that Semyon's gone. Right. So I mean, that's, it just, it just that's how we know it succeeds. I'm just, I guess I'm just arguing for the story gentleman of good in the sense that I feel that we're like, that aren't we living like story weaving dictate the actual judgment just because we end up with the inference character's point of view in the end? Because if, 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 if they had sure. presented the other way yes. around, we would have gone with good. Right. right, that's why I say I don't think it's part of the same story. Except objectively. Objectively, it's part of the same story. Right. What, what, where, where, what I projected on him emotionally felt like another story. It was not part of his na- his character development as I saw him in this. But it's a natural conclusion based on you know the music, the ambiance, everything else. So, okay, optional. Yes. Okay. <laughs> optional. Lock, why? Now this is yeah, right. That's right. So, what are, what are the options regarding? There are like a certain number of ways to what? Bring down city. Um, well, one one way is is trying to get the information out of the, the barber guy in the bathhouse as to where where they're dropping off things. No, no, no. It's a certain amount of ways to protect Korea. Um, well, I think this is where your baby is. It could be, yeah. but it, it could. Okay. I think the baby is tied to the option. Well, the first option that she, instead of going to the cops, she tries to figure that's, this out. That's what creates the inequity. Now, if Carrillo had gone one, two. Well, option or is, is that a imposter? It brings goal, it to right? the it brings it to the climax. It doesn't bring it. It doesn't get you the goal. It brings it to the climax. And that's why the baby at that that scene. It, you know, the the, the climax is. Basically, the scene where the son breaks down, the Kirill breaks down. He wants to, he wants to throw the baby in, but he breaks down, 
I think that is the client, and, and we know as they walk away. And what's interesting is Nikolai has that everything's going to fall. That everything's going to work, or it's not. That's when they walk into that scene. There's either going to get blown, his cover is blown, right. or he's got everything under control. Because right. he has to, he has to save the baby without blowing his cover. Right. And so he has to choose his words. He has to approach him in just the right way, knowing his personality, knowing his weaknesses, um, and right. his vulnerabilities. Um, so, yeah, he has to play him in order to fulfill both purposes. Right. And that's why I think that, that I think that's how structurally I think the baby's connected to that. As you see the number of different ways we can, you know, protect or hide or whatever, but eventually the last thing is, is that it, it gets taken and the, there's only one thing that can happen, taken to be killed, the last step is the climax. So that's that's where all your options are out, and that's one of the reasons it explains why Kirill, I mean, why Nikolai is willing to put the you know to put himself out there because this is the moment. But he throws in the father too, where he says, you know, it's it's either your and my way exactly. or your father's way, and that's where he's Kirill himself. knows and his father knows that he's gay. Right. So, Kiro really needs his father to be out of the way. Right. So. Right. So, and and after that, then it's then it's all Jake. You know, then it's just okay, fate right. complete. You know, you just have to show how it falls out, and you wrap up the story pretty quickly <laughs> and get on out. Okay. Good. All right. Now let's talk about the domains. Yeah, you stop and start. Yeah, that was my No, point. I'm not, because I don't want to limit the domains. I want us to have a free <laughs> reign. Right? <laughs> because we have too many smarties here who, uh, once you put once <laughs> the growth and approach, then it makes it quite really too easy. <laughs> and I don't, I want, I want everybody to make the complete argument structurally by, rather than just, well, that's the way it has to be. <laughs> All right. So now the question is, where do, what domains go where? Can I just start, I would say, suggest the overall story for the main character. You know the main character has to be a doer, is a doer, so she has to be in either activity or situation. I would say the situation <clears throat> because the baby was thrown in her lap. But, but remember, the baby is part of the big picture. Even though that's what she's, it, it, it's necessary for her development, it's really a part of the, it's a key element of the overall story. Her, her acti I think she's activity because she's, her goal is to find a, a good home for the baby. Find okay. So uh, activity. No. Our midwife. Um, I I think the overall story is a situation because it just seems like as long as in the context of this story, as long as Simeon is in power, there's a problem. Uh, I think you got the wrong thing. Yes, yeah. I, I think that might work um, if we're going to define it like that. But I don't think it's Simeon that's the situation. Baby, that's the okay. situation. What I mean, is it? You know, look at it as a situation. As long as the baby's around, the potential down we can potentially bring that down. That would be the story if if uh, Simeon was the protagonist. But I'm not, well, who, who, yeah. who then? Who then is the protagonist? Because I'm still caught up with the idea that really it's the diary or or the baby that's the protagonist because it's the diary quotes from the diary show up periodically throughout the entire movie and each time a quote from the diary shows up we we have a scene that corresponds to that and right. so that may, may, may be more like a catalyst or something but it's not going to be I don't think the diary has an agenda or, or actually acts as a function of either pursue or consider it does tend to create more conflict or drive things forward, um, but I don't think it, it, it in and of itself is a character. Well, um, however, the voice, however, 
the the dead mother is a character. Right. And that's what the that's what that represents. And I and I don't think she's the protagonist in this. But but, but I do think I she think is a voice. And that's what you're you're talking about. Okay, I, I have a better understanding. Thank you. Sure. If, if, if uh, Nikolai is the protagonist, uh, can an argument be made for Neville showing manipulation? Because uh, the whole point is trying to, <clears throat> for him as a protagonist, to manipulate his way up to either infiltrating it to bring him down, or eventually kill his own course of action, become the king, whatever. Okay, now, bring some of the other characters into that. Um, in the, into a world where manipulation or psychology is the, is the all star going to be. Nikolai is a manipulation character. Well, look, what about Semyon? Remember his interaction with... Uh, with um, He's trying to manipulate the girl. Right, I mean, you try to get find out, give me your home, I'll take you home, I'll do all these things, because I need to get that. You've got the um, son, the bro the son, son is Cheryl, to... is constantly trying to manipulate um, Nikolai. Nikolai. You know, I want you to have sex now, you have to prove that you're not, you know, that you're straight, because yeah. I want to know what you're, I want to see you having sex, and because I'm interested in you, is the subtext. Mm. <laughs> you know, so you, you've got That's it. That's right, after that scene that uh, they mentioned about you know, I'm, we're going. To, we're going to. No, no, we're going to give you your. We're going to elevate you and make you a made man because you think it's because you're really good, but because we're getting setting you up to get killed. Because then their relationship. You know, the, all these and it's all these. You know, all these becoming things and and pretending to be someone else, being and developing plans and and you know conceiving ideas. Those those do figure pretty loudly in it now. It's, it definitely seems to be more of a process. So the question is, is it about the activities or is it about the manipulations? See, I think it's totally activities. I mean, you, right. have, a, you have a son who's out killing people because... Right, look for the conflict, not yeah, just the, the activity, yeah, not just what's going on, but look for conflict. He took care of that guy, you know, the barber, because he... Was it because he was going to reveal he's gay or something? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was going around spreading rumors, and he's like, you don't do that, this is the way we do things. He steals the... Uh, the yeah, you have her investigation into everything. You have the police trying to find out where they are. I, I think, you know, Nikolai's whether or not whatever he's doing as far as taking over <clears throat> the the king or taking down the king, that's an activity thing. I think there's the scenes between him and um, Anna are manipulation ways of thinking. And she's like, "What are you doing? What, what's going on here?" I mean, there's the, like the classic sort of arguments between the two of them. I think he's totally fixed attitude because he's just like completely his sense of presence and who he is uh, has an influence on her, you know, as far as uh, unwavering, sort of completely set in his way sort of thing. And I think for her situation is, uh, I mean, she's barren. I don't know if she's barren, but she couldn't have a child before. But she has a past where she's can get over that. She has a chance to be a mother. I mean, she wants to be a mother right. to this sort of thing. I think, you know, and then when he changes, obviously he moves into the situation, so it takes over. It takes over, right. King, so I think that's, it's like the classic sort of... Right, and I think the difference between my explanation and yours is I was just I was just enumerating what was happening, but not what was causing the friction, what was right. causing the conflict. Remember, and the whole point of making, choosing their domains is that way down at the bottom? There's a problem. There's a there's a source of the you know a, a connection to the inequity, and so trouble conflict is brewing upward. So you need to make sure that you always remember that in that context, what is creating trouble. That's why we use the terms like concern and issue and problem because those are the things that you know are bubbling up in the domain. I have a question. One of my students last night said he's like I'm having trouble because to me domain concern issue and problem all mean the same. Thing. They do. Yeah. They do. Do anything to say? Do I mean, I mean they all say? Yes. The no. Thing, they, they are all the same because essentially their their views into the underlying inequity the, the, and the conflict that's created by that inequity. The reason we came up with different names for them because we wanted to specify the, the <coughs> scope. A domain is a big thing. A problem is a little thing. And then you know, concern is a broad but not as small as a problem. But an issue is like somewhere in between. 
that's the only reason we have those, is that we're trying to come up with words that pretty much mean the same thing, but at different scale. How does Nikolai demonstrate a fixed attitude? He's got a, he has a, a fixed set of morals. That he it's sort of like a code of ethics that he sticks to. And he does not skimp on it. Even when it's not in his interest, it doesn't work well, you know, like with the uncle. He doesn't kill him, he sends him out, sends him away. It's sort of reflecting the code almost. Yeah. Yeah. No, and, and and that's one of the reasons why um Semyon likes him because he's got honor. You know, he understands how things are supposed to be and, and that you, these are not things that are flexible. <laughs> you know, and you look at Kirill and, you know, his morals are all over the place by comparison to what his father is. But, you know, he doesn't have a fixed set of morals. He seems to be really, really troublesome. And now it just, uh, just so happens that, you know, that Nikolai has pretty much a very similar kind of code, except he's just from a different base. You know, his bases were the with their the killing and raping bad, as opposed to you know doing what you can because you you're entitled. You know, good. That's sort of the con contrary one that he's facing, but it's not really. He doesn't have to conflict over that with anybody else. But for him, what she represents is here's someone who is very headstrong, who is putting him in greater and greater danger of exposure and testing his metal, testing his honor. And it's forging it, but the question is, at the end, when he changes, has it forged it so much so that now he has become the thing that he hated most? That's, that's why I think that last shot is you don't know if he is in fact just been just literally been a replacement for Semyon, or he really because the dynamics say, yeah, he's actually sort of become his enemy. But they don't explore that because that's a different story. But I think that's one of the reasons why the the sense is there because he's a change character. Well, where is he going from? Well, he's coming from from a good guy with these really honorable ways of seeing the world to a king. How long is it going to take since he's given up the morals for the situation? How long, you know, how, which is going to, you know, he's going to have like that conflict again. Someone's going to come along that's going to challenge his morals. And is that going to, is he going to be able to maintain both? Because now they're in conflict with the potential. To win somebody we cared about. Like in the beginning, he's trying to protect Kirill. Right, do right. anything for him. Shut up. Would even you know kind of speak, talk down to Simeon when it's like you don't ever do that, and it's like well, but he was just wanted to take care of him because he's always trying to do the right thing. And, and he's then, trying and he's to defuse it. He wants yeah. to defuse it. He understands it's also sort of his place, and he can take the the heat, whereas he knows that Kirill he, he wants to make sure Kirill doesn't like fold because he knows that's the weakness that's going to get him in. You know that. This is the this is the time bomb, and he's just, he's just nursing it along until it you know really creates a whole lot of trouble. Okay, great. So we have that makes our uh, main character and situation, our overall story and activity, the relationship and manipulation, and our influence character in fixed attitude. How about the concerns? So now, if you look over on the the big chart. We have uh, past understanding memories and developing a plan as one group. How things are changing, doing, gathering information present as the next group. Changing one's nature, uh, sorry, future, obtaining innermost desires and changing one's nature as the third group. And then present, gathering information, con contemplations, and doing an idea as the last group. Any, any takers? <laughs> Future obtaining, changing one's nature, and most desires. Okay, and why? Well, she's looking at her future as a mother. He's looking at his future of being the head of the mom. You know, and the, uh, you know the detective. Well, no, you, that's that's all her. So you can't oh. put everybody in 
in each right. of them. You have to have to make sure. So the overall story would be in obtaining. Um, the she would be in future. He would be in in uh, innermost desires, and they the two of them would be in changing his nature. Does that work for anybody? <laughs> um, um, how would you explain him being in innermost desires? Because he certainly. I don't see that a lot in him. Where do you see it? Yeah, but, but he's also very mysterious, so, you know, so he's keeping everything really close to his chest. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but. but, um, but I could see everybody in obtaining if she's trying to become a mother. He's trying to obtain a. Well, baby. don't do that. She's trying to become a mother because that's her. Right, but, but I mean, if you're talking about the nurse. When you're talking about the overall story, think of the characters in terms of their role. So right, you've got I, the nurse, and you have the the uh, the driver, and the this mobster's son, the mobster. Well, his desire is to do what he wants to do. Right basic drives, basic motivation. But when you, innermost desires are are um, sort of like not only not only things you want, but also you things you fear. So I'm just just throwing it out there, just okay. to. Broaden, you know, it's basically the subconscious. Is what but when you look like um, when you, if, if in the overall story is uh, you look for obtaining, don't you look for that as an example in every character? Like, right, but you look at the nurse, not not uh, right. by her na first name, because right. you need to look at her in her job, not in what her personal life no. is. Just theory, the most desires is that is that usually the, the thing that kind of sticks out most of the time that really our culture years. tends to like those yeah but, 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 but I, I, what I'm saying is underneath that word is the most desired more, more, yeah more, closure it's, hope, it's, it's, it's something Nile. More, no what I'm saying is is it more more, more often about fear than actual desire more, uh, well as you're talking about trouble with concerns with innermost desires. Remember, you're figuring out the concern. You're looking for the cause of trouble. Where are people are concerned? Are they concerned? I mean, is she concerned about her past? Is she concerned about how things are changing? Is she concerned about her present? Or is she concerned about her future? If I can interject. Yes. Uh, sorry. It's uh, I, I'm playing around with the theme browser and for, uh, for the 4.0, and it's easier for me to determine the obstacle character concern uh, based on the current selections and what what I have right now is it seems to be the obstacle character concern is the conscious which is present considerations right. and then that automatically puts the main character to the present so but when I think of just the main character I am kinda torn between it being the present because she wants to immediately save the baby or the future because she's also thinking about the future of the baby. She doesn't want the baby to go into the system because once the baby gets in the system, it'll never get out. So I'm just putting out my feedback at this point that well, my initial suggestion is the conscious for the obstacle character concern. Okay. Can I support that with um, the um, uh, in the overall story? What jumped out at me very strongly, especially in the first act. So I don't know if this is the overall concern or just the first signpost, but gathering information was obviously a big deal, uh, you know, uh, uh, trying to translate the diary and, you know, tracking down, you know, the restaurant. And, uh, but, but it also applies toward the end, it could be a, both a sign post and a benchmark, but at the end, obviously getting the blood sample and then, you know, getting, you know, in an overall story sense, getting the DNA out of the baby. Well, learning who the father learning is. Learning who the father is. Um, you know, learn, basically it's about learning you know, uh, learning enough about what's going on in order to bring down is it the mob boss. More of a I don't know. I don't know, but it, it's uh, it, uh, it is very. I mean, if you look at the the story goal in, in its you know barest phrasing, it's like bringing down the mafia. It seems like that would be an obtaining story. Yeah. But 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 I don't think they're trying to bring it down because they don't bring it down. They're right. just trying to infiltrate and. Control. Yeah. My argument, or whatever. My argument would be no, for, for doing because mm -hmm. I think it's not about taking it down. It's about finding a better way to fight. Right. The they, mafia, and so he gets into a position where he's in a better position to actually to fight. Do something. To do something. Yeah. And yeah. it's also all the conflicts about doing things you're not supposed to do. You don't just go and yeah. kill somebody 
just because I, mean, I like my like little brother yeah. or a, I, 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 I like the story of both and response. Hmm? And yeah, to me yeah, that's the strongest one. Well, well okay, that's wait. what I'm saying. That that in the strictest sense, but you know. Hold on a sec, Jim. Uh, you have impulsive responses. What do you put your Oh, because to me the strongest is his concern for impulsive responses because you know he gets spit on and he's just like, Okay, this is how this goes, you know. He, his influence, because it's supposed to be his influence on her, that would make her kind of like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. this is a scary Russian mob guy who has absolutely no, is just cool as can be, and has you know no sort of overreaction to any sort of situation that would have the influence on her. In particular, for her, like I like progress better. How things are changing as far as whether or not she's going to get the baby, and I like threat and security underneath. It's a particularly threat. And uh, for me, the conflict between the two of them is more about playing a role because he's pretending to be something he's not um, versus, uh, I mean, to me, there's also not so much the romantic thing, but there's sort of, they're almost in a parental sort of role as far as uh, creating a family with the baby. You know, to me, the kiss at the end with the baby in their hands is sort of like this is the closest the two of us will ever get to a playing nuclear that role, family. a nuclear family. Right. You know, I mean, it's like they kiss, and then it's like that, that's over, which is like really tragic and cool. But they are definitely playing a role. Yeah. And she and wants she, to know who, and are, she, who are Yeah, you. it's me. Well, and, her, so, and of course, here, she is constantly challenging his role playing because is it going to blow? She going to blow his yeah, cover? Yeah, yeah. And to me, like knowledge, you know, as far as like I, I, what, what's going on, I need to know who you are, sort of thing between the two of them. Where you know, in the overall story, wisdom, it's like what's wise to do, you know. I mean, I keep saying the same issue, but you know, you don't, you don't kill somebody. He's Chechen guy, right, or whatever. You don't do that just because he's going to out you. I mean, right. You, and don't, you, talk, don't, you don't talk these. to the king this way. You know, you need to know your place. Um, yeah, that's my argument. You know, what, impulsive responses is a better choice. So. Okay. Well, why, I'm going to bring up the uh, the software and let's sort of. Go in there. We can get into it in a little greater detail. It works. It works. This is not the right one. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. I, don't know. I think it will. This kind. I have a feeling it's not going to work. Uh, no, that's well, I can do. Oh, you can't project though. You want to go. No, I can't project, but I can use my I can use my screen for everybody here. Yeah, and then I can I'll just mimic what so you do. Let me give you this before I walk off with it. Oh, oh actually, this is the one that will work with the other one. No, that's fine. No, we're, we're small enough. Um, oh, good. We'll have better uh, resolution then. <laughs> yeah, I did this last time. I think it helped. What? I just mimicked what you did on here, so it's Oh, like, okay, it's, great. I can just share the screen? Yeah, that's great. All right, so I will um, turn this around in a moment. Oh, heart is full. Great. You're recording this, right? Okay. At some point, this... Uh... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> what was your argument again about Jimmy? About like impulsive responses on his part was like you said the example like when they spit on him. What were some other examples? Um, yeah. Oh, I, I, to me, another really big scene is when they go to do the exchange. And he sits down and he's just you know still sort of completely stone faced and they're like what super you, nervous. What, what part was that? At? Oh no, and I know what it is. It's the, uh, the the uncle or whatever. Doesn't he say something? Can you say something to him? Oh, with the he curses diner. at him or whatever. Yeah, yeah and he's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, just yeah, yeah. doesn't even respond at all. Just like, right, okay, right. say what you want, because I know what I am. Sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I know you are, but what am I? So, can you guys see the the screen now? Yes, I can see it. Yeah. Yes. All right. So we have. I gotta leave steadfast undone right now. Uh, doer, linear, action, option lock, success, and I'll leave that one alone. And then we said the overall story was going to be activity, so 
for the concern of doing. What, what's the trick to make the screen bigger? Uh, command plus. Thank you. Move this other like so. Alright, I'm this. This one. Alright, let's zoom in. Alright. So I just I just narrowed the, the window. Okay, yeah, cool. So Alright, so we look at in the overall story we're going to doing. I'm going to go down one more so we can look at all the pieces in there. Um, and you can also fail this just by the small. Um, we've got wisdom, enlightenment, skill, and experience. Uh, and I guess the question would be where do we, you know, is there a pair that seems to be better than another? Do we either have wisdom and enlightenment or a skill and experience? Right? Any of those for this is for the overall story. Jim has already made an argument for wisdom. Um, anybody have a feeling? <clears throat> I guess of those four, that one seems to be the one that resonates most in yeah. adequate speaking. Yeah. I mean, skill and experience definitely play a role, but they don't, that, that it doesn't feel like there's that much emotional charge on those uh, issues as much as. Um, and then we look at our main character. We had track fantasy, security, and threat. I think the security and threat pair is pretty, because they pair seem to be a lot better in terms of where she is and what she's concerned with. Um, it's I'm sorry, where, where are we with the question? Uh, well, what we're doing now is we're trying to figure out the um, the issue level, and so we either could be are, are looking at uh, the uh, main character. That's what we're looking at just now. Talk about fact, fantasy, security, and threat. Um, and just a moment ago, we were talking about the overall story. Threat. Threat. Um, <laughs> That's right. Pardon? I like threat. Because it fits with this one. And let's, let's just let's look at the others as well, just so we can get a sense. So we have playing a role, we have knowledge, thought, ability, and desire. Um, and then in for him, we have value, worth, Confidence and worry. Um, for, the, for her, for them, for him. Yeah. Um, well, I like confidence. <laughs> I don't know if that's an actual thematic issue. I mean, we certainly do. I think totally. constant worry. Later, yeah, and maybe in Act Four, confidence and worry. Right. Well, you're going to well, see. What were you going to say? Huh? What were you saying? I, I just think that he's in the worry position as he's constantly got to be thinking of how he's going to be the holy guard. And then, in, in other words, that's, that's the issue at play is how worried should he be or versus how confident he should be well, or yeah. act. But so also, you know, should be confident. But, but, no, but he's just no, saying, no, no, like, no, no, he's but, just saying thematically to balance it out. But I think like, it's also, the, is, I think it's because he's an influence character, it's more like telling her, you really should be more <laughs> worried about what you're doing. It's, mm -hmm. you don't, it's, this is not a safe thing. You, you need to stay away from these people. You do not understand mm -hmm. what you're getting into. If yeah, she doesn't. Because to me, he feels more confident than, than worried. Well, he, so I think it's, right, it's, he is, it's the angle for the worries. Right, right. He's not. It's not about him per se. It's about his effect on her, his impact yeah. on her. And I think that he's he's trying to. She she's not nearly worried enough. <laughs> and he's like, mm, you know, this is, you know, you don't want to be here. 
this is not a good place to be. These are not good people to be around. You just, you know. So, yeah, that's where the conflict is. You're right. I was. He values and has, uh, you know, he. But there's no conflict. He, he's very confident. And he values people and knows his work. So there's not a lot of conflict there. So. Well, are you saying are you saying that worry is uh, the obstacle character's issue or unique ability? I think it's more of his issue. I think it's more of the thing. I mean, and he also has to make sure that and that no one around him worries. Oh about yes, him because he's right. He's got to be invisible. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, you're point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, let's just try it. Let's say it's a main character. It's influence character, obstacle character issue. And let's see where we just go back and look at the other ones that we'd already sort of looked into. And so we end up with. Um, a couple of possibilities. We we can have either wisdom is still possible over uh, issue. Uh, experience could be the issue. Actually, I think oh, is everything still available for it? I think it might be. No. Um, wisdom and experience right now. Right. So either wisdom or experience for um, everybody in the the uh, overall story. And if, yeah, and of the two, wisdom is absolutely for the, for the really the things that you were talking about, and and you see they even bring in the wise men, you know, the the council of wise men, and um, even even uh, the constable or whatever he is, the detective is sort of questioning the wisdom of staying undercover. So that does seem to be an issue in of a lot of different characters. So if we choose that. Um, let's look over at our main character with we've got um, yeah and then we have threat as the issue um, um, super obvious. what I'd love there's one in there that I love for her for her Probably. the uh, issue so we've got theory hunch expectation and determination yeah it's the steadfast character she's totally determination right it's, she's not only determined but it's also if she's steadfast she gets to left that oh sorry I assumed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying we we had not we did in the in software we haven't made this selection. Right. right. But no, if you select right. that as the um But if you problem. look if you Are look you at what her problem Yeah. Yeah. But if like you think her about problem. the think of the, the symptom. Hunch works really well as a symptom because you've got her um Yeah, that's be hunch, right? Yeah, no, I just no, I want you to yeah, explain it. Say, <laughs> because she seems to you know, she's got got the sense of what the value of this this uh, um, book is that she can't translate. So she thinks that it's important, and maybe it's if I talk to this guy, he's going to be able to give me the information I need. And you know, she sort of has this hunch, you know, and, and and yet it sort of puts her in in a danger dangerous position. She gets this really weird thing. He wants to, I'll take you home. It's like, no, I don't think. I, you know, it's okay. I brought my bike. You know, well, let me pick you up. No. You know, she's sort of like her little warning signals go off when you know her hunch meter goes beep beep beep. Did you respond and that, with and theory? That it, oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. You respond with theory. Right. In other words, well, why? Why? What is it? Well, let's see. The definition for that being uh, a unbroken chain of relationships leading from a premise to a conclusion. So why would he be interested in me? He obviously wants to get home. Why does he want to know where I live? Yeah, these are all. All the conclusions are bad, <laughs> so therefore I will deflect. <laughs> you know, so it's like I can't explain why I'm getting creeped out here, or what's going on, or that this guy is a good guy. You know, you know, there's that. The, you know, it just her feeling that she sees Kareel, It's like, um, this is bad that he's here. Now, what could that be? He's in here because of the baby. You know, she. Goes and tries to find it, and it's like the, sees the flowers, and then of course she immediately assumes it's it's uh, Kirill, that it's it's no, it's Nikolai. No, no. Yeah, well, it's it's all of them. Well, yeah. Yeah, you know, she's he, he's sort of lumping him in with all of them, and he's like, "What are you thinking about?" Okay, it's like, right, that was the hunch was right, the theory was wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, it's brilliant because it's Kirill that took him, as opposed to Sunday. Yeah, no, 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 and That's for the right, he did, a, he did, he actually did the right thing for, for the right reason. Yes, 
But then, of course, he couldn't kill the baby, right? Which is that was the whole reason why he's a problem for his dad. So well, that's why he's kind of the uncontrolled and hinder element, I think. So if we right. select hunch as the symptom, and we're yeah, yeah, let's see. So we are down to. I don't know. It's, also, it's, like it's, it's also the symptom <laughs> for the overall story. Right, so why don't we go back to our story engine? So that makes your step fast. And the judgment is going to be either. So maybe let's see other things we can choose. Unique ability. Right. Analyst. She's a stop kid. Yeah. Well, it feels like a stop story. I mean, just. She's waiting. She's just like, there's. She's not waiting something for again. She's like, okay, I got all these hoops I have to just keep on jumping, and when I, if I, if I, you know, just gotta get past that and outlast these things, and they're they're trying to bat, batter me down, and I'm, I'm gonna keep on plowing yeah, ahead. Because just when Jack goes into the broader story, you know, the, the, it feels like a stop story because there's something bad in the environment that needs to be gotten rid of, as opposed to something that's lacking. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so our main character unique ability, we have a, ch ch a choice of security and fantasy. I don't my, my intuition is telling me, well, let's look at... Because she, she has the ability to... Yeah, well, that should be a critical flaw. Well, let's see what the critical she flaw is. Wisdom better. or experience? Huh? Yeah. Oh, I would have gone with wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then let's look over the overall story. Uh, no, let's look at the influence character, because we like him. So exactly. what's what's oh, you're oh, the masters. oh confidence would be a pretty good one why he might be able to wear her yes. down. Yeah. Um and let's see if we uh, we have knowledge and desire. And that gives her a unique ability of security cool. a flaw of wisdom, which is true. She lacks the wisdom. <laughs> and it's you a, said it yourself. And it makes it a success good story. Right. Wait, which one did you pick? So I'll just do. I I picked uh, unique ability, uh, influence character, unique ability of confidence. Okay, cool. And now everything's still there. Right, but you know the, the 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 things that we were assuming steadfast, it chose that, and judgment of good, it chose that as well. So the the ones that we were leaning toward or were pretty good, you know, we had a sense of but didn't want to commit to, we were able to figure them out. By other things, and it's always really good to do that because, especially on your own work, if you know things for a fact, in fact, you really or in, and you almost think that you you know them because you want them that way, but you're not sure if it's actually part of the story. Yeah, but then don't that. don't pick those. Pick the things, the other things you know about your story, and see if it actually is supported by the argument supports that feeling you have. If you, if you think of the plot by now. What's better, that Semyon continues to be the king, or that Nikolai is the new king? Right, but we we chose that. We chose we no, chose we success. No. Yeah, we chose success. No, no, success for outcome, but judgment. Judgment, the judgment is where she is. So the judgment is where she is. Is you mean as the main character? Yes, yes as the main character. I mean, it's sort of and you can you can extend it to the uh, the big picture but i'm i'm wrong well, that's a that's an argument that between melanie and i she looks at it in terms of the overall story i look at it primarily that's indicative by the main character <laughs> possibly um i certainly won't argue be. i won't i won't argue the fact that i am a linear thinker but i right. won't, don't know that the causation is there <laughs> which is a linear answer yes <laughs> um all right, so uh, his problem and solution is awesome. Yeah, okay, his problem is unproven. Oh, oh. <laughs> and then oh. I mean, when he pulls the shirt yeah. open and yeah, says, that's, 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 that's right that's, there, yeah. That's perfect. fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Man. But in, in, even, thinking in, even thinking in terms of him as the impact character uh, toward her, uh, you know, he has, a, he has a lot to prove to her um, oh, okay. in several ways. I mean, you know. I mean, yes, in, in its role in the overall story, definitely, but I think in the Well, story, in the overall story, it can be proven, you know, I guess they proved that father, right? Right, that's right. That's what, mm -hmm. yeah, they the proved yeah. that he had raped an underage girl. That's why he's no longer there. Yes. Oh, oh overall story, probably. There you mm -hmm. go. Unproven, unproven, good. Yeah. But, yeah, but also, you think, this is, you look at the, the solution for the influence character of proven. That's why I think that last, I keep on coming to the last shot, because I think that the story form is telling you that he's not in a good place. Now he's essentially, he's proven himself to himself. 
oh, cool. And does he need them anymore? <laughs> you know, does he's he actually. Need Scotland in other words, anymore? yeah, he's he is now as he is now as well, sure because Scotland Yard can bring him right down. The diary, the diary is being read during that time. Oh, right, so he but but he might also, to. but but which is where you have a conflict. Okay, now I'm I'm in here. He can't truly be king. Well, sure he can. Well, but they knew they knew, they knew Simeon was the head of it too. They have they to. Knew, they have. They didn't have the proof, obviously, or they would, he would have been uh, in jail a long time ago. Right, right. Well, but what has he done wrong? That well, we, haven't into, seen, we haven't seen that. Right. Right, so you'd go back to okay. Now you've got him here, and they would have the same problem with him. You've got a statutory break, but obviously. No, no, no. I meant miss all the other stuff. The next story, where you now have, where you have Nikolai, who is king. Right. With a good heart. Did anything wrong? So king slash, you know. Unless he decides. Unless he decides to change. Yeah. Change sides. Right. Now you can imagine if you're going to do it right, you would have him. Come in, and then basically bring it to everybody's attention that there's this effort trying to get into the, that trying to you know get into infiltrate and take down the mob, and they need to be proactive against these forces that are trying to take them down. I mean, you could it's a, that would be a natural step oh, yeah. into a, a you know a nice story. big conflict. Yeah. You know where you've got you know you've got him. It's, it's sort of the rise and fall story. Right. Or rise and then rise higher. You know? he, I, I, I mean, I don't know that what this has to do with the story, but it, the, it, the feeling is, I mean, the diary is being read over that part where it says, "My father was buried. We were all buried under Russian soil, you know." And so he, that's over what. So he's stuck there now. You know, his impulsive responses may be to be free, but he's no matter what, he's he's going to be stuck there. In the system uh, to protect others, kind of. Right. How does he get out? How do you get out of something like that? Uh, he's. It's like Shin. You know, he yeah, can maybe. Stars. Well, still he try to take his death. Try to. Yeah, but he's got the stars. That's the yeah. problem. They remember that's where it starts off at the beginning. Your body tells you your your family. Right. Great. So, so, anybody sees the, the his stars, they know who he is. They know he's a made man. Mm -hmm. And you can't undo that. Very on the Russian side. You know, so it's just it's just really interesting because he, he does in fact get what he wants and it's not necessarily he have to disappear. Right, I guess. Yeah. Which of course is he just spent all this time getting there. <laughs> no, but I mean if he needed that you asked what could he do to get out, he got Right. But he'd have to, you know or turn state's evidence and and just you know, be a martyr or whatever. I mean, there's lots of different ways of taking it. So, but I, but I think if you do, you look at you look at where this is, and you have the critical flaw of knowledge. And of course, certainly, the more she knows about who he really is, the less effective he is in terms of being able to scare her away and and get her to be worried about her position. You know, so if she realizes uh, ultimately she ultimately she doesn't get all of the information, so he's not. Cover isn't blown, um, and so she knows enough, but not enough to to uh, um, prevent her from making uh, helping the story end in success for the baby. So, would you say critical flow knowledge? That's more like the way other people perceive. It could be an attribute of or attributed to. Either way, so it could be knowledge that he has, or knowledge of her. Or it could be things that are known about him. Um, so either way works. In fact, frequently you want to try to do it from both directions because it really locks it in so people don't misinterpret it as something else. You know, it's sort of like not only is Dr. Richard Kimball being pursued, but he's also pursuing the one armed man. So he's all about pursuit. <laughs> no matter what you look at, which way you cut it, it's it's all about pursuit. And the is more the more flavors, the stronger it is. Is she a, an emotion character or a complex? Well, she's a, by by being a main character, she has a full complement of, of character character elements. The question is, where does she fit in? And she doesn't. She's not. A, she's not an emotional character. Um, uh, but, but, well, yeah, she's a character in her in her through line. Yes, 
in the big picture, you know, when the mother dies and it's like, okay, well, you know, she's doing her job and it's, she's concerned for the baby, but there's, she's not like, she's not, I mean, look, look at uh, Kirill. I mean, he's the one who's emotionally out there, really angry, really happy, really so when, you're crying. When she's, when she's uh, arguing with him and just saying, like, she was only 14 and all that stuff, it's part of her personal I think that's the relationship through line. I think that's what's going on. Right. right, and the relationship through line has its own set of sixty-four elements. And what you see is that in though in, in in those through lines, what ends up happening is is you tend to explore them temporally, not have a static set like you have in the right. overall story. It's by scene. You're seen or by act or by whatever, yeah. So you'll have them adopt different arguments depending on, you know, the context. Um and uh, so we have, uh, what else have we got here? Sandals. Their relationship story, problem and solution is really nice too. Relationship is the problem and solution, and unending and ending. Okay, so you've got something that's completely open-ended. Yeah. Yeah, totally. and then basically... Uh, how does it pronounce that? Oh, yeah. yeah. What is that? Goodbye. 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 Yeah, they're ending, ending it's just ending. bringing it into yep. their little fantasy. Really? That kind of a chance relationship in a way. In uh, a sad, tragic way, which means... <laughs> yes, but they each got what they wanted. Yeah. But they didn't get the relationship they wanted. Right, so it makes it awesome. Um, and if we look at the signposts, let's look at the signposts. We've got, uh, for the overall story, start with understanding, doing, obtaining, and then learning. Okay, I can go with understanding for the first signpost. So gathering information and learning definitely for the signpost. <clears throat> yeah. Just as a logistical plot point. Right. So that's good. Cool. And I think if you look at obtaining, you've got that both ways. You've got not only obtaining but loss. You know, him getting his stars, mm. the you know, the, them you know, <laughs> looking in the world. right. So what? The influence character sign plus four is memories. You know that final scene when the diary is being read about how we're all buried under Russia. Oh yeah. And so that's like him remembering yeah. his. Whatever he's got, whatever yeah, he's whatever got up in his head, remembering. Probably a Russian Orthodox. Uh, <laughs> oh, so that's what that last. <laughs> now we've got all kinds of stuff. We read <laughs> no, but it fits nicely with everything else. Yeah. So that's cool. um, for the main character, start with the past. That's. <laughs> <laughs> we probably could have chosen that one. So, but yeah, let's get a nice primer on what happened to you in the past. It sets you all up for this. And, uh, I was going to have yeah. a but died. And then I had a boyfriend, oh, yeah, but he went away. That makes sense for signpost for, for, for the last. Right, because um, now she's making a transition into sort of being a mom. Oh, she's now, she's going to be going four is like a, a physical location in the story. Signpost, well, it depends on how you want to look at it. There are two ways to look at it. If you want to look at them in a sort of an organic sense, then it's literally like a signpost, like a city limit. And then you, but then in that view, you're looking. You look at the journeys. You look between things. And I'm not a big fan of that particular view, but that's just I'm a structuralist, so structuralists wouldn't look at it that way. Organic writers would. Mm. A structuralist looks at it like Act One, Act Two, Act Three, Act Four. You know, where in between an Act Two and Act Three is the midpoint of the story. So. It starts the first, you know, before the first act turn is about past. Then you move into the first half of the second act and is the future. Then it goes into the present, and then it turns into how things are changing. So it's it's kind of like, and I see that for me, just as my the way I conceptualize it easy, most easily, it's thinking like almost like an umbrella, so that it's this context within which everything that happens in that act. In that through line, is referenced. So even if I'm looking at something like the goal, which is going to be in every act, but it's going to be the goal in terms of in the context of one thing, and then in another, and then another. So I can From still look a at different window. Or... Right, right. So I'm still looking at the same. I'm looking at the same goal, but it doesn't look the same all the time because I'm looking at it in a different reference point. Mm -hmm. And it's the same with all the static plot points. So even though the so that plot points do not change in nature, 
they do change in context. And so sometimes they'll be more emphasized, sometimes they'll be de-emphasized, depending on the nature of what they are. Carl? The, um, is the, sign, the second signpost for the main character, is that when he tells her that where the baby's actually from, but you want to have Right, in other words, it's almost like, the, it's almost like the signpost, another way to think of the signposts are like temporal concerns. So now her concern is with, for the baby's future. Right. If I can't find out who the baby's father is, I, I have to find out who the family is. Then I have to find out how can I get them. Was the you know? So yeah, that's exactly what it would be like. So that's why it goes from just being okay, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm finding out about the this not only my a little bit about my past, but also this baby's past as it relates to maybe my interests, mm -hmm. you know, which the that. Uh, um, Diary is really handy, <laughs> and of course we get the first chapter, which is all about where Mama came from, you know, her her uh, stand-in, you know, mother figure that she wants to become, and she eventually sort of takes over that character. The relationships for a signpost. Um, it's the bond. Manipulation. Yeah, um, that's uh, developing well, a plan. Well, I think that's that's one of the lightest ones. That's that's really early on, and it's kind of like, I mean, if you think of it as he sort of wants to keep her out of this, and so he's doing more. She's thinking, how can I get more information because I need to be in there. He's thinking, how can I keep her away from all of this without you know? But, but, but he doesn't seem to do anything. Well, remember, he's kind of, he is. It's like he's trying to take her away. You know, like, you don't want to be here, that kind of stuff. And then it moves much more into the role-playing, you know, that's that's where you get the, you know, I'm a driver. This yeah, is, yeah. You know, I only do this, this is this is all I am, when we've already seen that he's done a whole lot more um, things than drive. So <laughs> most three changing one's nature? Um, I think that, I think that's about the potential, when, if you're talking about the potential for a relationship, sort of them getting a sense of where, what would need to happen, how they would have to change as, or change the nature of their relationship if they're going to take it any further. And then the last one is like, the yeah, conceiving idea is like, oh, this isn't going to work. You know, this would be really nice, yeah. it's not going to happen. And it's not like, it's and it's interesting, I think, because it's not a. It's a story about a, a slowly growing relationship that ends and and ends without them being in a relationship. But you know, with having conceiving an idea at the end there, I think that works really strongly in the sense that it's kind of like they both get the idea that ah, this isn't going to work. <laughs> the influence character is not so close to just dead on. Yeah. I think in that last scene where he's flipping the beads or whatever they are, that's memories. Yeah. He's, he's, going, he's going back over what we don't know probably about him. And he's thinking about that and about where he's going. He has goes back to the voiceover. Right. Where 14 year olds talk about him. He's very Right. Body so how many okay, how many patterns are there when you're looking at the signposts? Is it, is it three patterns? Three uh, patterns. The Z, okay. You have the Z pattern, which is the traditional three-act structure. Mm -hmm. You have the X pattern, or the we call it the, the um, typical, but it's the HX, which is essentially the rise and fall. So there's a mid strong midpoint. A the slide pin. slide bump yeah slide bump slide the mm -hmm. and then you've got the C or N depending on which or for me or you. Um, and which is the, the U pattern is the you know the one that's a very um, episodic. So uh, we've got all three represented here. So the main character is the U, and the overall story and the, the yeah the overall story and subjective story are the are the Z, the, right? I'm saying do it. Yep. Okay, yeah. And, and then the that relationship, the subject or the uh, influence character, impact character is those sort of the, the rise and fall. Right. So you have a midpoint where it sort of turns into. 
sort of less professional, maybe mm -hmm. a little more emotional. Are the yeah. variations always featured? No. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have, sometimes you have two. Uh, you, you, sometimes you'll have. Sometimes you'll have three of three lines and, of all one, and then one and one different. But like, you always have at least two yeah. patterns represented. They're, they're, they're never all. And then you get represented. some of the ones that are more complex, like the, like Chinatown or Lawrence of Arabia or Godfather. I mean, Chinatown and Godfather, um, which are really complicated. And you know they they have all of the different patterns. They all are different orientations. So you know you, that sense that you've got all these different sort of segmented parts. Um, whereas witness is you have three Z pattern traditional three X structure, and the relationship is an X. So you know it hits the midpoint, and then something changes in the relationship. You know, you, you sense that turn. It's like it's like they're in the the, the barn loft. When he's working on the car, and then they turn on the music, and suddenly it goes from being sort of exploratory <laughs> into something else. Um, yeah, so I think this is a really good story form. You know, you used it. You used it to write it, obviously. Yes, yeah, so of course. <laughs> I mean, it's like right down the line. Super strong. Okay, so are there any other questions about this? Uh, we can we don't leave. I just want to sort of tie this up. Yeah, I have a question. Yeah. About um, outcome and judgment. I mean, even though it's not in the program, I mean, the relationship has an outcome, or or, or would you say judgment? And the and the influence character has a judgment. So the the overall overall story was a success, but his he's stuck, or you know, so he's kind of not in a good place. How I'm kind of you're kind of this is kind of what you covered in the beginning, but in the different through lines. Could, well, I possible? think yeah, I th I believe that there are going to be dynamics like that. The problem mm. is I'm not certain how they connect to these other choices um, because I think it's kind of like when you choose to look at you choose a certain context. You are able to see certain things, and you can't see other things, even though you know that the other things exist. Mm -hmm. You're almost like you're looking at an object. You can you can imagine the backside of it, but you can't prove exactly what it is because who knows really what's back there. You Which makes kind of kind of like that, and that's why I'd love you know. But I think what you're going to find is it's not going to be the same kind of dynamics. For instance, I think what you'll find in a relationship is it's either going to be a growing or a decaying relationship. That's that the kind of dynamic way. you're going to find, not whether or not it's a success or failure, but whether it, it grows or decays, and whether or not it um, it resolves. I don't want to say amicably, but you know, it's, it's almost like a you know a, the equivalent of it would be that things are. Apart amicably, or things are really bitter because you can have something that's falling apart that ends up on a good note, or you can have like this something that's you know that's growing, that that ends up on a good note too. So you know they're not mutually exclusive. That's why I think that the dynamics we're going to discover eventually are going to be things that are going to be completely different in nature than the ones we already have. They're not just going to be. Um, sort of the flip side of the coin. Does that make sense? Yes, uh, it does. So the influence, how I like the I like that idea with the relationship, it is growing or decaying. Uh, how about the influence character's storyline? Does that uh, move? I, I think I, you know that's why I I don't know I, I don't know enough about it yet. You know, those like the the hunch is that you know so many times it's just the opposite, but I'm I'm certain it's not a requirement. Right. I think it's a convention because we we tend men tend to think in a binary sense, and we tend to want it to fall that way. But I don't think it has to. I think that could be satisfied by other characters. In fact, I'm almost positive that other characters could could have the other half of the dynamic, but. Um, I'm not certain about that. I would, you know, at that point, I'm really just sort of guessing. 
in this story, it just seemed really strong, you know, that... Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And, and, of course, if, you, if you're in, if you encode it that way, you know, when you're writing it, and you say, I want her to be a doer, and I want him to be a beer, well, you know, fine. You know, that'll work, that'll work okay. And your audience isn't going to argue with that. It's just the question is, does it have to be the influence character that, that does that? Or is that something that can be satisfied in some other way? You know, for instance, there's this character... Uh, what was the oh the yeah the doppelganger or whatever. yeah that's it's, uh, somebody came up with a good name for it and un unrelated Sh but, but the character that I keep on shadow, saying yeah. the shadow character well yeah. I don't like that label but the idea is that there's a character in the story that shows the main character what they will be if they continue along the same path so it's kind of like if they're a changed character it's a steadfast character that's not the influence character that is just showing the natural progression of that character, which is again, it's more of a that's more of a dynamic. Um, if that's more of a dynamic character than it is a, it's a character that's defined by dynamics uh, rather than states. And I'm not sure exactly how that works, you know, or maybe it's a character that's defined by state rather than you know dynamic. I don't know. It's just. It's just really interesting, and I see more and more of these different types of, you know, echoes of things that are consistent from, you know, multiple stories, but we don't really have them as part of the story form at this point. Eventually, I think, you know, we're going to be having a lot more theory development going on, and I think we'll probably be able to identify a lot of those other pieces, you know, get sort of a, a, a stronger resolution. The question is, and this is this is why it'll have to come out of the theory, and where I'm not happy about dealing with that is that um, you know it's got to come out of the model, not out of examples, because examples you know don't prove really much of anything. They can they can illustrate points, but they're not really good for trying to find how the stories work. They just show you how particular instances of a story works. Why aren't you happy about it? Because I don't like doing that. Okay, no <laughs> <right>. <laughs> I look. I look forward to your eighteen-minute well, TED talk on this. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> Melanie, Melanie was already talking to me about the dynamic model, which uh, I get a headache. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since I'm more structuralist. Although, what's interesting is, I think when we're talking about this, I think I'm probably more capable of seeing the dynamic model than she is. Like she was a little more capable of seeing the, the structural model, the relationships in the, in the structure. Because I, I was focused on the structure. It's just weird. We have very complementary skills. And uh, she's kind of outlined what would need to be, sort of the, the, the boxes that need to be filled, but doesn't know exactly what's going to go in them. And, I think that she's waiting for me to fill those boxes. And I'm <laughs> really not looking forward to that. <laughs> but I think what we will find is that things like that question about the relationship, you know, uh, growing or, or breaking apart is one of those things that will be in the dynamic model that you can't find in the structural model. I definitely, you know, you can map it when you're writing, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you're, you know, essentially you're projecting what's going on inside your head, which is all of these things are happening. And sometimes you're, you know, a little more left-minded and you can see, you know, male mental sex, then you can see how this, this structure works really well. And sometimes you're a little more female mental sex and you can see how more the dynamic model, even though the dynamic model that we would create would still be for male mental sex. There's just that way men can be in go into a truly female mental sex one. We deal with colors and all sorts of really, <laughs> really touchy-feely crap that would be very disturbing to men. <laughs> white is white. Yeah, but making, but making choices of your story based on how fast a color transitions from blue to green to going through red, 
Oh, oh, like, <laughs> okay. Yes. And, and then throw sounds on top of that. I've like, seen plenty of movies that were, uh, uh, you know, apparently written and made under that kind of right. Thing. But that would be some Mickey Mouse. That would be. That's the best that I can imagine it, and I know that that's not that's not even approximating what it would truly need to be. So, um, yeah, it's wouldn't be Most pleasant. Made it in Anyway, okay. Uh, well, next month we're doing what? No, Juno. 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 Oh, that'll be fun. I was wondering, do you think there's any chance uh, that you could be doing more uh, uh, story creation exercises, story embroidery exercises? Oh, done punishment? for punishment, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, possibly, yeah. I'll I'll see what my what the schedule is like. Because I just I was, I was talking to Jim about that the like a few weeks ago, saying that I because I like this exercise, but I feel that we use this less in our creative process than the other way around. Right, right. And and it, it feels like it's it's a different aspect of the muscle that you're. That was definitely exercising a different muscle than creation. And and uh, and I wish I could just bring that one more. Okay. Well, you know what? Next time we have an opening, uh, you know, we don't have a script to read for the writer's group. We can do that. And, you know. Yeah, you've done that in the past. Oh, we've done, we, yeah, yeah, that's one of the, one of the, one of the, yeah, we come up with some brilliant stories. Yeah. Um, usually Not when you're story. in the room. Not <laughs> when you're in the room. Oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> yes, I remember you said your characters. At least they were interesting. They weren't like 40-year-old men. That's right. Yeah. It's like I always do these things. It's like, do not Create characters that are descriptions of you. Yeah, <laughs> forty-year-old writers. Yeah, yeah. forty-year-old writers. Right. Exactly. Like, uh, yeah, uh, we can. Uh, yeah. Um, well, I guess. Uh, I guess that's it for tonight. Thank you guys for joining us. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Now we can call it fifty-year-old men without agents. Right. <laughs> <laughs>